This is a list of pediatric syndromes and associated airway abnormalities. These pediatric syndromes are important to know because they might make intubation or ventilation difficult during a procedure or during an emergency. Let's go from left to right. The first one on the left is Pierre Robin syndrome. Patients with this have a cleft palate, micronathia, glossoptosis, which is a posteriorly displaced tongue. You can kind of see that with the bottom jaw being posterior. They also have heart disease. You might consider an awake intubation or an early tracheostomy in these patients. Next is trisomy 21, also called Down syndrome, probably the most recognizable of this list. These patients have macroglossia, which is a large tongue. They have a small mouth opening, which might make intubation difficult, might make direct laryngoscopy difficult. They also have subglottic stenosis, which can make placement of the tube difficult. Patients with trisomy 21 are more predisposed to laryngospasm. Next is Treacher Collins syndrome. These patients also have micronathia. This is a small tongue. They also have aplastic zygomac, uh, zygomatic arches. That's that part of the skull that's in the face here. If it's aplastic, you could see it's a little droopier than you would expect on these patients. They also can have coanal atresia, and they also have congenital heart disease. Next is Goldenhar syndrome. These patients have mandibular hypoplasia. They have unilateral facial hypoplasia. You could see that on this side of the patient's face. This is associated with eye, ear, and vertebral abnormalities on that side, on this side for this patient. They also have preauricular skin tags, which might help you identify this syndrome. And you can see that skin tag right here. Next are Hurler and Hunter syndrome, which are similar. Both have coarse facial features. Hurler syndrome has kyphoscoliosis, an abnormal tracheobronchial cartilage, macroglossia, a small mouth opening, and excessive thick secretions. Hunter syndrome also has coarse facial features, macroencephaly, macroglossia, a small mouth opening, and excessive thick secretions. Both of these tend to get worse with age. Next is Cruzon syndrome. These patients have a wide skull with proptosis. The front of their skull it has bossing. It like protrudes forward above the eyes. These patients also have a beaked nose and maxillary hypoplasia, which makes masking difficult before intubation. Morquio syndrome is the last one. These patients have coarse facial features, prognathism, odontoid hypoplasia, atlantoaxial instability. This would make it difficult to change their neck position for intubation. They also have macroglossia, small mouth opening, and excessive thick secretions. I hope this summary was helpful, and thank you for listening.